Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and in today's video I'm going to be discussing all the latest Manchester United news and transfer news that's been going around in the last 24 hours. I don't know exactly what you're thinking, transfer news Alice, transfer news. The window is it, just closed and to be honest we've had three months of Sancho this, Sancho that, three months of a disappointing transfer window. I don't want to hear about transfers and if you feel like that I don't bloody blame you, but we're going to be covering all the latest Manchester United news and transfer news. And it isn't actually that much transfer news. It's mostly about who Solskjaer really wants to get come January, come next summer, Solskjaer's main targets and more. And I'm going to be covering that report. I'm also going to be talking about Marcus Trashford winning an MBE. £14.95 to watch Man U versus Newcastle. I think that is a disgrace. If you think that's a disgrace, hit that like button. Who, who wants to pay £14 to see, well, 15 quid really, to see Man U play crap? I, I, I don't know. But, you know, we'll have to probably pay that money, which is annoying, so we, we better get a result, Man United. But we'll be discussing that. Paul Popper wanting to leave and more in this video and first things first i know i'm going to be discussing transfer news and the transfer window has just closed and we're all a bit fed up with transfer news but funny enough the transfer window literally opens in like two months or something it's just like 10 weeks away till the transfer window opens if that and you know with the way it's going with the disappointment with the angle of the fans man united might have to go and spend in january so yeah before i get into this video please hit that like button subscribe down below share this video i also did a little podcast on that united family youtube channel uh talking about pogba Solskjaer, um about the 15 pound stupid thing that the premier league have been implemented and stuff so go check that out after this video like you know how last january we almost got harland and bruno fernandez we did get bruno fernandez we ended up getting ogalo and not harland which is probably quite a big L now you think about it. But you know, this January, if we go into this January looking like we're not going to get top four, there is a likelihood that Manchester United will spend. And right now it does not look like we're going to get top four. And I think with Manchester United, the owners want us to get top four, so more money. They don't really care about us winning and closing the gap on City Liverpool, but they want us to get top four, four so we get more money. So they get more money, really. So, you know, if we're going into the transfer window looking like we are looking now, maybe they'll spend some money. If not, they'll probably sack Ollie and bring in Poch because they're probably thinking, Poch, Levy gave him no money, he did well. But that topic is for another video. So I want to get into the news. And it was actually from ESPN. They did this report about how um, Solskjaer was really disappointed with the transfer window. And they started talking about Erling Haaland. Now in January, we all thought we were going to get Erling Haaland. Oli had loads of close talks to him. Erlen Haaland wanted to join Manchester United. The deal was really close. It was only going to cost us 20 million quid. And then Woodward, Edward pulled out the deal because he didn't want to pay the agent fees. Because I think it would have cost us an extra couple million more. And we lost him to Dortmund, which was the first of the three hours we took to Dortmund this season. Also subscribe. Subscribe. If you want Sancho to join and you don't like taking Elsa Dortmund. But that was the first L we took to Dortmund and Oli Gunnar Solskjaer was very angry about that. And then you saw us get a Galo on deadline day. Obviously a panic buy. I mean, have we seen a Galo? A few goals against Derby County, but at the end of the day, a Galo is pretty crap. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, we took our first L in January, not getting Erlen Haaland. And the reason we didn't get Erlen Haaland was because of Woodward. Now, ESPN actually said something that basically summed up why we didn't get Erling Haaland. They said, after meeting Erling Haaland last year, Solskjaer believed he had reached an agreement for the player. Edward would stop the 20 million euro transfer due to agent fees and the insistence of a release clause. Now, I get the whole release clause bit, but um, basically the reason we didn't get him was because of Ed Woodward. And 20 million euros for Erling Haaland is a fucking deal. It's a boof. Like, it's gonna, it's, half that price has cost us to get Cavani because of Cavani's agent fees. I'm just sitting there like... So we missed out on Erling Haaland because of Ed Woodward. And the reason we missed out on Jaden Sancho is believed to be because of Ed Woodward. So Ed Woodward right now is the reason we have not got Jaden Sancho and Erling Haaland. Imagine Jaden Sancho and Erling Haaland in our attack. We'd actually look like a real club with a shit defence line. But look at Manchester City, good attack, shit defence. They seem to be doing a lot better than us. SPM basically claimed that Solskjaer was disappointed with this transfer window. And I don't bloody blame him. He probably thought he was going to get Sancho. And he's also disappointed with the January window of not getting Erling Haaland. But they continue to actually talk about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer wanting a £176 million pound duo. And that is his priority going into the summer, going into January. So a report basically covered what ESPN, which said... Missing out on two of Europe's most exciting young talents will have hurt Solskjaer, but ESPN claims the Manchester United boss hasn't given up on hope of getting his hands on the pair as Sancho and Haaland remain top transfer targets. 
There will be a fierce battle for Sancho next year and he's expected to cost at least 108 million. Same that he would have cost this year. So not good business not getting him this year. Same price, more competition next year. But anyway, United were quoted this summer, but it remains to be seen what will happen with Haaland as his release clause cannot be activated till 2022. So that's what that article said. And it's, it's right, they basically said that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, although he was disappointed with his last two transfer windows, his top targets still remain Jadon Sancho and Erling Haaland, and he still wants to get them, even though Haaland, his £60 million release clause does not go into place till 2022, which is a little bit frustrating. I guess Cavani's thing runs out in 2022, so, you know, get Haaland in. Long term good plan short term not really because we want to get hot we should re in an ideal world we would have got Haaland in January never had Cavani never had a Gallo and we'd have got Sancho in you know in an ideal world and then we'd have probably got Tellers and a good good centre back but you know this is Manchester United we're not run properly but it seems that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's main targets going into the next window according to ESPN are actually Haaland and Sancho and there were two players he was this close to getting like this close to getting and would have messed it up but I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to talk about the question I'm going to ask you in the comment section down below. Do you think we should be prioritising a centre back as our next signing? I do believe we need a right winger and we need another attacker that can go straight into that first squad to add a bench death. But when I'm looking at Harry Maguire, I thought that he was decent last season. I don't think he was an 80 million pound last season, but I thought he was decent last season. Maybe the grease kind of thing has had an effect on him, but this season Harry Maguire has been absolutely pants, absolutely pants. I think he needs to be dropped. Eric Bailly can't go five games without getting injured. Two ends, maybe. He looks solid when he played, but he's just been injured all the time. Mengi, he, pff, yeah, he's, he's got good potential, but he's 18. You know, it's like relying on Greenwood to be our main man. And to be honest, Greenwood's doing a good job of that because he kind of is a regular player now. And then Victor Lindelof, who I actually like Victor Lindelof. Yes, he was awful versus Crystal Palace, but I actually think he's our best centre back on his day. I'm not going to lie. No, Eric Bailly on his day is a beast, let's be honest. But I feel like Victor Lindelof is probably our most consistent centre-back, which is a little bit worrying. So, do you think Manchester United should get a centre-back? Do you think that should be a priority? Or do you believe the reports that Haaland and Sancho are a priority for Oli? Because I believe that there is some truth in this ESPN report, because they're two players that, if we were run like a proper club, would be Manchester United players. But then I look at that defence and I think... And I knew Oli was interested in Upa Mankano. I think surely if Manchester United want to be a real club next summer, they get Sancho, Upa Mankano, and probably a CDM to replace the ageing Matic. Then in 2022, when Cavani's, really, when Cavani's done, hopefully he's a successful player, but in two years' time when Cavani's contract's up, we get Erling Haaland. That's what I'd like to see from Manchester United, but who knows? But talking about outs, Paul Pogba's basically come out of many comments about Real Madrid yet again, and I actually discussed this on a podcast with the YouTube channel that United Family, so go check them out. I'll probably put the link in the description if I remember. But I basically said, you know, Paul Pogba with the way he's playing, Manchester United losing 6-1, I don't think that we should um, be happy with that. You know, this is not the right time for Paul Pogba to come out and say he wants to leave. If he was like Lionel Messi and he'd given his all for Manchester United and he'd won trophies of us, fair play, you, you have permission to leave. But I don't think... This was the perfect time for Paul Pogba to come out and say stuff about Real Madrid. With one year left on his contract and he's playing poorly, I think it's time that we do sell Paul Pogba. And I'm not a Paul Pogba hater, but he's not been playing well. He doesn't want to be here. I think this summer we could potentially be cashing in on Paul Pogba. Maybe that money will go in and get Jadon Sancho. But who knows? Paul Pogba wants to leave. Oli, Oli's believed to want Haaland, Sancho and probably a centre-back. And the final story, because I want to end this video on a positive, is about... Do, 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 do. Marcus Rashford winning an MBE, MBE, or MBE, MBE, because you know all the good work he's done helping kids feed. I think he's helped over 2.5 million children. It's really nice to see like Manchester City congratulate Rashford and rival fans actually appreciate what he's done. And you know may, things aren't going well on the pitch for Manchester United, but I have to say that the work that Marcus Rashford's doing off the pitch, you know, he should be proud of himself and, you know, he's making a difference and he's using his platform to do things that are good and, you know, congratulations to Marcus Rashford who at 22, his son's one of the things, you know, off the pitch. I think he always plays for the badge on the pitch and fair play to Rashford, but end on a positive, but thank you for watching this video and if you have not already, please hit that like button, subscribe down below, share this video, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.